let's go see if he'll talk to us now. Ah, uh, yes, well, Decor. I am Vakai, your weir leader. Our weir woman, Nalaya, is dead, and I fear the weir is moving towards dark times. We must all be vigilant and loyal. Yes, sir. I am a busy man, Decor, and I am sure you have many things to do. Our first task is to find a replacement weir woman. And I believe there may be up to ten suitable candidates around Pern. Find them. I will do my best. Now go. Learn all there is to learn. See all there is to see. And Decor. Yes? Stay out of trouble. I will talk to you again sometime. Collect trundle bugs. Collect fire lizards. Collect women? Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's go down here. I think our meeting is ready to start, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. Who are we still missing? We're missing Bacol, but he's still asleep. All right, come on. Let's talk to... No, let's talk to Sabor. Ah. Oh, you know what it is. Okay, we're missing me and we're missing Bacol, so I have to go tell Bacol that it's time for the meeting. And then we can start. Like I said, it's been a while since I played. Or sorry, the hole, not the coal. Oh, well, maybe not. Um, who are we missing? Alright, hold on. Actually, our journal should tell us. Let's see if I can find the bit where all the names are listed. Try to assemble them, blah blah blah, okay, uh, maybe I have to go to my note to myself and look in there. I read the note. Alright, so let's see. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay, so we got Lita... Salon, where's Salon? Okay, we got Barak, Katan, Taman, Latol, Faben, Neth, and the whole's coming himself. I have to go, I have to go find... Salon. Where is he? Every time I say his name, I just think Salon. Like a hair salon. Okay, not that one. I think he's on this level. No, nope, this is Neth's room. Whoop. No, nope, don't get stuck on a wall. But, no, nope, go this way. So, not that one. This one. Oh, we totally missed him before. I hear Sabor is calling a meeting. Will you be there? Of course. I suppose I'll have to attend as well. Although I can't stand to be in the same room as the man. He sickens me. Such bitterness is not good for the wing salon. You should curb your anger. I lost my <laughs> eye down to that fool's incompetent orders. He does not know how to control his wing during thread battle. And one day I'll make him regret what he did to me. Thread is an unpredictable foe. I have no love for Sabor either, but you cannot blame him for Thread. Well, he's a lot nearer than the Red Star. And to have that blackguard Catan take my place as Wing Second just because they believe I am no longer suitable for duty. Apparently my eyesight affects my ability to fight. Salon, why are you so angry? I apologize. I suppose Nalaya's death was a bigger blow than I first assumed. And with Neeth's timely performance last night. <clears throat> yes, I've spoken to him about that. Uh, I'll leave you for the time being. You look like you need to be alone. I'll see you at the meeting. Yes, you will. All right, so we talked to Mr. Grumpy Face. All right, so now that was the last of them. I don't know how I missed him before. It's... It's a little bit hard to come tell, just with the camera jerking all over the place, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes, like, where you have been, haven't been. <laughs> Lex is like, yes, your eyesight does affect your ability to fight, dirt face. <laughs> Let's come down here. I think. Come on. When is this meeting going to start? Alright, the meeting will start when all the Dragon Riders are present. Is Salon coming? Maybe? Ah, 
apologize, get stuck on things again. Okay, so I don't know if he's like on his way up, or if I actually do have to talk to the hole. I apologize for all the running back and forth. <laughs> no, no, doesn't want me talking to him. I don't think I'm missing anyone else, is the thing. So I went and I talked to Salome. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Taking a sweet time. That's what it was. Come on. Come on. Ah, there he goes. Alright, now I'll go up the stairs. Okay, now that we're up here, is the meeting going to start? Where's Salone? I just saw him. Oh my gosh, this game. Sometimes it bugs out a little bit. Alright, this time I'm just letting him go up the stairs before me. If he's still walking. Go check his room again. Oh, well, this nest room. Uh, so one's not. Oh, this is. Meeting's room? I don't know. I'm confused now. Oh, this is Salon's room. No, he's not in here. Okay. Maybe I just needed to give it a minute. I'll double check with the hole. Just to be sure I don't have to run down here again. Nope. Alright. Alright, hopefully he's upstairs now. Let's go check. Ah, Decor, how good of you to join us. Dude, don't act like I'm the late one. <sighs> Sorry for being late. I had a long watch last night. We understand. Please, join us. Now that we are all here, there are a few matters we need to attend to. Firstly, as I'm sure you are all aware, there is a distinct lack of potential werewomen in the wear. Weary teeth. How can these young idiots with clouded heads possibly find anything? We just haven't looked hard enough. And have your efforts been any more successful for Ben? Well, no, but I... Then hold your tongue. What do you suggest, Sabor? We go to the holds. Fort Hold being the first. This is ridiculous. Tradition... Uh... Thread score tradition, man. We have no other option. Morath is dying, and we have a new goal that needs a rider. Otherwise, it is the end of this wear. Tradition was in place to help us through the pass of the Red Star. Now that is nearly over, there are some who fear that given time the holds will question our purpose and withdraw from wear protection. I see this as a way of bridging the divide that may open. The Wing Second speaks true. But we are dragon riders. They wouldn't dare. The wear hold and hold bond is inseparable. It has happened before and it will happen again. Riders are here to protect the people of Pern from Thread. With no Thread, we have no use. And with no use, we will lose the tithes. And the Weir needs the tithe to survive. So as you can see, something must be done, and quickly. Decor and Catan, go to Fort Hold and see what or who you can find there. Make sure you let Lord Gralt know of your intention on arrival. Very well. The rest of you will fly to various wares and holds to inform them of Nalaya's death. May I say a few words about Nalaya? Something has been troubling me. Please. Has anyone not considered that although she had just left Ista, an almost tropical environment, Nalaya died from an infection associated with extreme cold? So, your point is? It seems strange that she should contract such a disease. I'd warrant it needs further investigation. Lita has a point. Very well. But I cannot see how Nalaya's death could be suspicious. She was old. That is all. Is there any other business? 
There was one other issue. Yes, Decor. The recent Tithe caravan was quite substantially short of ore. Is Master Smith Hall working on something that would require such resources? And if so, why were we not informed? I was not aware of any such project. Then perhaps, since you brought it up, you may like to visit Master Smith to see what you can discover. Of course, but I shall accompany you to Fort Hold first. Search is more important than mislaid ore. Is that all? Good. I will communicate all the other riders' destinations via Yugoth to your dragons. Clear skies and fair weather. I have no idea what Decor is doing. Decor, wake up, man! We must get ourselves to Fort Hold. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, we must find these werewoman candidates. Come on, Brant and Zenth are waiting. I'll see you shortly. All right. Journal update. Right, I don't think there's anything new in there. No. All right. Let's go this way. Ah, Decor. Glad I caught you. Sabor asked me to give you this. And this is? It's a message to be given to Lamrat, Lord Gralt's personal assistant. The message officially informs Fort Hold of Nalaya's death. As you wish. Alright, I got a message to some guy named Lamrat. Alright, so let's go down here. I don't believe there's anything new up here. Hey, Jim's running around. What up, Jim? Hello again. Hello, Jim. Have you recovered? Oh, yes, uh, I'm much better. But I'm not allowed back in the caves again. And my mother's banned me from eating sweets and playing with my toys for two weeks. How am I going to live without them? <laughs> How am I going to live? I might die. Uh, nothing up there. I believe there's nothing in any of these. Let's go downstairs. Alright. Alright, hey look, it's dragons. Um, let's bypass these guys for right now, though, because we got a second bug that we need to get rid of. So since we're going to a new area, we definitely want to free our jar up. Alright, let's talk to you, Jillen. You mean these insects? Oh my, not another one of the critters. May I have it? Imogen will be so pleased. If you find any more, please bring them to me. Alright. So, two bugs handed over. Reputation increased. Alright, let's go back around this way. Oh look, he got himself a new hammer. Good for him. Hey look, it's this girl again. I think she might have something to say. Let's ask. Hello, Decor. Hello, Helene. How are you? I'm alright. I've found something, and I'm looking for someone dependable I can give it to. It's very old. What is it? I can't tell you. I don't trust you. Bye. Ugh, children. All right, let's see where we are in terms of dependability. So we need three more levels of reputation before she's going to hand over whatever it is she has. All right. <laughs> Tollies. <laughs> I'm picking up street cred, catching those bugs. All right, so here is a dragon. I freaking love, by the way, the size of these dragons. They're so awesome.